and Eko Korkas Maras from Hungary, 18 years old, kicking off this vault final. Good, Yashenko, one and a half twist, good linement. Very safe vault to start with. Very impressive opener. One and a half twists, nice and easy. Nico for her first vault scores 14.425. Just a little bit down on her qualification score with a difficulty of 5.5. This is her third World Cup vault final this year. And here she goes with vault number two. Now has to be different. She turns on this time. Relatively simple vault, but very well executed. Slight over rotation, just causing the foot forward there, I think. Very nice half turn on, good solid plant, tuck front to wrap it up very nicely. And Aniko Kokos Maras from Hungary scored 13.65 for a second vault, that gives her an average of 14.037. Marina Kostolchenko from Ukraine. And a forward approach. <laughs> Good straight shape, but not a difficult vault at all. Round off and straight somersault off, playing safe. 13.65 for Kostolchenko's first vault. Salutes the judges. Let's see if she'll opt for something bit more difficult the handspring front somersault with half turn a little more difficult but a little more untidy as well just a little bit flat off the top of the table I had to work hard to get that twist in and that's the result Kostelchenko scores 13.825 for her vault well, here is the current British vault champion, Marissa King. She qualified in second, just 16 years old. Needs a clean landing, a good one and a half twisting. Sukahar in the straight shape, a very good opening. Such a powerful vaulter, Mitch. Power indeed, Matt. So determined, strong, twisting through one and a half times. Marissa scores 14.75, a great score for her. She scored 14.225 in qualification. She does have two of the most difficult vaults in this final, but she needs 14.038 to go ahead of Caucus Maros. Needs to really put plenty of power into this. Handspring, pipe front summy with half turn, great landing. Consistent vaulting, determination on the first, power and control on the second. Beautifully round in the pike half twist. Such a powerful gymnast, drives the heels well over, lifts the chest up on landing. Well, what a fantastic result for Marissa King. Her score, 14.237. She takes the gold. Women's vault then, there are the results for you. Marissa King from Great Britain taking the gold. She's the current British champion. Delighted to take gold here in Glasgow. Caucus Maras from Hungary. She qualified first. She takes the silver. And Kostelchenko from Ukraine down in third. Marissa, congratulations. How do you feel about the result? Oh, absolutely fabulous. I mean, first gold medal in the bag. Love it. You were looking pretty cool out there. You're only 16 years old. How do you manage to train for the nerves and the pressure of the competition? Well, I've had quite a lot of international experience this, this year, so uh, know what I'm doing, get out there, just focus what I'm doing, and it all works. And obviously watching some of the other competitors, a good standard of competition, what was going through your mind thinking about? Because not only one vault, but two vaults, what are you thinking about? Well, I wasn't thinking about the other competitors. I was thinking about myself, what I need to do, what I need to focus on, and what I need to do to do my best in my performance. So, gold in this event, what are you looking forward to next? 
Um, well, the squads are back. Uh, we're going to China um, late November, early December, so uh, that would be a fantastic experience. And just to get out there into China, see the Beijing and everything, it would be really good. Fantastic. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, the next final is the uneven bars and grip. Britain's Beth Tweddle qualified with the highest score. A little bit earlier on, I caught up with her. Well, Beth, you've qualified here at Glasgow with the, the highest score on, uh, on air bars. Things obviously going well for you. Um, yeah, training's been going well. I mean, straight after Worlds, I had a bit of time off and then went straight back in the gym and prepared for... I had an international last week in Italy as a warm-up ready for this weekend. But the Worlds was a bit of a disappointment for yourself. What did you take away from it? What did you learn from that experience? Um, basically, just I had to come home. I was gutted and, as I said, took the week out just to get over it and just had a normal life. Went out, went round, seeing friends and just basically totally forgot about gymnastics. And then by the end of the week, I was really twitchy just to get back in. So it shows that I'm not ready to retire or want to be there. So um, I just have to look at it as it wasn't meant to be that time and hopefully next year will be my time. Because it was that, it was the connection, wasn't it, between the two moves when you're looking at the two different <laughs> judging criteria. But you did get the highest mark for the kind of the execution of the routine. Yeah, I mean, that's one good thing to look at. I mean, obviously the connection lost me on the start value, but I was the highest or the cleanest routine out there. So at least the judges aren't sort of saying, well, there's big deductions on this, there's big deductions on that. I was technically the cleanest gymnast there. So that's the main thing I can look at. And then just obviously... That was one off that I didn't connect it. It was the first time I hadn't connected it while I was there the whole time. So it's just one of those things. But I mean, it was a great achievement for the women's team in general. So what's the feeling like within the squad and within the coaches? Um, obviously, the team was absolutely amazed that we qualified, especially being sixth, and that was our best ever. Um, the t tension now is obviously just waiting to see who qualifies for those all important six places. We actually go out to China and Hong Kong next week to test out the environment, see what the gyms are like. Uh, we'll go to Macau, which is our holding camp next year, mm -hmm. and uh, see what the hotel's like, see what the training venues are like, and if there's any problems, we can iron them, iron them out now. Steliana Nisto from Romania is here. Do you see her as your biggest competition on, um, in the bar final? Yeah, um, she's always around. She's always in bar finals at Worlds, European. She's always one of the top rivals with myself as well. So there is top names here. It's not just an easy competition. It's mm. basically a World Championships, but a smaller version. You're feeling quite positive? Yeah, really looking forward to it. I mean, I always love coming to Glasgow. The crowd are just amazing and they're so friendly and back you 100%. So I'll be looking to go out there and hopefully take gold. Well, Beth, good luck tomorrow. Thanks very much. Daliana Nistor took the silver medal at the European Championships earlier this year. She's on form. Yes, a very good all-round gymnast. She's improved immensely on the asymmetric bars. We've seen one, two releases already. Very smooth with the pack salto and smoothly back up to the high bar. Back down again. No wasted swings. Just some, sometimes a little short of handstand. Here she's in the forward grip. We have to show both grips. This is just the good one and a half pirouette. Oh, there we are. She makes it the second time into the Kachev. That was a bit flat, the Kachev. Has she got the energy for a big dismount? She has. Makes it look easy. You mentioned she's a great all-rounder, Christine. She took the silver medal at the World Championships for the all-around. Made such strides on this apparatus. Clean in the Kachev. Not out of steam towards the end, but this section of the exercise was really super. She's come on so well. Just a bit untidy with the knees. Steliana Nistor qualified second behind Beth. She scored 15.2 here. She scored 15.225 in qualification. Christina Palisova, 16 years old, seventh in the World Championships. And she's impressed us in training with the lovely body shape. Tight back, 
Straight line. Lovely height on the Jaeger somersault. Just a little short of the handstand. Each handstand must have the feet right above the hands. Just like that one. Really swings well. Good catch, Ev. Lovely line. There, the half turn into the good high front somersault. Just a little stutter, but very nice swing. So clean. Good technique. Beautiful style. Keeps the rhythm of swing. A line really so impressive. Look at that. Legs locked. Hits handstand. Christina Palasova from Czech Republic scores 15. Second gymnast to go. Stand by for the European champion on air bars, Daria Skoba from Ukraine. Now she has a very difficult bar routine. Can live with the difficulty rating of everybody, but sometimes the performance is a bit heavy. There, lovely somersault, but just caught with a little bit bent arms. Beautiful work. Turn, she's got very supple shoulders, as she shows there. Swings through the invert, into a full pirouette, into the dismount, just the step. Well, Skorba qualified down in fifth with a score of 14.875. Lovely technique. Pike Jaeger, plenty of swing. Virtuoso on this apparatus. Just the few occasions, legs apart, for the judges to take little deductions. Darius Goba from Ukraine, 15.05. Difficulty score of 7.1.